A horrific motorcycle crash. Head-on collision involving a motorcycle. Thrown from his Harley and died at the scene. Motorcycles are very dangerous, so should the government force bikers to wear helmets. 19 states do. We libertarians say that's wrong. It's my head. Once I'm an adult, I ought to get to take my own chances, even if I'm a fool. As Milton Friedman said, part of freedom is the freedom to be a fool. But orthopedic surgeon Dr. Alton Barron, who repairs bones of people injured in motorcycle accidents, says yes, helmets should be mandatory. Why? It's my head. Leave me alone. Yeah, well, that's a valid argument, and I certainly, in full disclosure, I'm a native Texan. My family settled there in the 1800s, so I believe in civil liberties, and I rode a motorcycle and owned one until I was 21. But at 23, I lost one of my very close friends who was riding his Harley at home on a Christmas break, and he hit a pothole, flew off, and had a head injury and died. And So, and so then, I'm sorry that happened to no, him, sure. but I ought to still be allowed to risk my life if I want. But what about the cost to society as a whole? We have a very limited health care dollar budget. And 44% of all the cost of these head trauma patients, which are astronomically more costly to our health care budgets, are borne by society because weirdly, uh, or maybe naturally, the insurance companies don't like to cover motorcycle injuries because of that added health care burden. This is the argument I hear all the time. Other people are paying for this, so this gives the state a reason to intervene. But by that logic, the state has the right to intervene everywhere. Why not ban cigarettes, cheeseburgers, all junk food, uh, swimming pools, 500 die. Let's ban swimming yeah. pools. It's a social cost to that. No, that's true. That's true. But yeah, the way I think of it is that, well, first of all, we have traffic laws, don't we? I mean, I don't think it would be total mayhem and chaos if we didn't have traffic laws. We have seatbelt laws. I know some all right, people well, argue but against Two those. points. Traffic laws, that's often about a car hitting somebody else. Mm -hmm. And we probably have too many traffic laws. A number of cities are pulling out their street lights mm -hmm. and finding they get fewer accidents mm -hmm. with just stop signs. Well, true, but if you think about a motorcycle, they're small, they're quick, they're light, they're low, and you can't often see them. So you're taking a risk and putting others at risk. It's my risk. Same with seat belts. Well, it's my choice, my body. Well, it's others at risk. And what about if you're, if you're bringing a passenger on your motorcycle? They're not, I guess they have a choice well, they have to get a choice on or too. off. Yeah. Well, these laws do exist, and the government required it uh, in 1966, mandated for the whole country. Riders pushed back, and they passed a new law that gave the states more leeway. Within three years, 27 repealed their helmet laws. Shouldn't right. states be able to experiment like that? Well, uh, clearly they have, and the data has shown that a hugely greater increase in head injuries occurs when you are not wearing a helmet. I've treated so many devastated families. I mean, a single head injury patient, whether they survive or die, have exacted a great toll on their families. And I, I would bet money that a family is going to say, you know, I wish there was, had been a law for a helmet to wear, so my loved one was still there and our family was still intact. What about the laws requ requiring people to wear helmets when they ride a bicycle? Right. That's like a, I ride my bike, sometimes I wear a helmet, sometimes I don't. I think that's different. Uh, certainly there are states that have uh, strict and helmet laws. you support that? People uh, and, should be forced or kids well, should be forced? Well, I, I think kids should because kids are not rational human beings. They don't make decisions right 21 for states require kids, right, teenagers. Right. I ride the Midtown, the city bike, across town on Wednesdays to go to my surgery center, and it's, it's a near-death experience. Now, I'm a little bit of a right, thrill right. seeker, but I, I, have, I wear a helmet period by okay, choice. You can choose if they to, mandated we're that mandated. If they mandated, I would say, you know, that's probably not such a bad idea. And again, I maybe believe you in wouldn't civil ride then because it's a pain to wear a helmet no, in, it's in not part, a pain. parts of Australia, Canada, and New Zealand made bike helmets a requirement. Head injuries did drop, but the number of cyclists dropped at exactly the same rate. Really? So I people I were less that data. Really, people, people stopped healthy. riding because they had to wear a helmet? Some people did. Adult cyclists dropped by 29%, child cyclists by 42% in Melbourne. That's shocking. I, I, I find that data very hard to believe. However, but I like an, to shock you. An, uh, another concept would be, well, if you are 
required to wear a helmet, but go ahead and choose not to. I mean, all you get in Texas is you have to, you're stopped and you have to pay a fine, so pay a fine. And then, I don't you know, want to be fined by my government. <laughs> I want to protect my own head. Last similar question. These right. bans on texting while driving. It should be banned? Yeah. There should be a law against texting? I, I think there should be a, a law, yeah. Look, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I, I, my job is to take care of people, and I think that's the best way to take care of people. The Institute for Highway Safety, Insurance Institute, mm -hmm. the laws aren't reducing crashes, even though that the laws reduced handheld phone use. Yeah. I mean, m maybe it's because it's illegal, I can't do this, so I'm going to do it down here. Well, do they have, I mean... There's no evidence that these laws have saved lives. Right. Uh, that may be true, but, you know, I haven't seen enough data. I'm all data-driven. And the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, of which I'm a member, we have had a policy yeah, in place... Yeah, you doctors always <laughs> say, ban this, ban that. No, not always. Not always. We don't believe in banning everything. I mean, look, we're thrill-seekers. I mean, a lot of orthopedic surgeons are downhill skiers and mountain climbers and cyclists. But you want to make... Force me to wear a helmet. I do, because it's in your best interest. Thank you, Dr. Barron, <laughs> Representative of the nanny stick.